हेलो एवरीवन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास इलेवेंथ बिजनेस स्टडीज स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी कवर द टॉपिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज अंडर वेच वील कवर सर्टिन कंसेप्ट लाइक कंसेप्ट ऑफ बिजनेस कंसेप्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रोफेशन and further we'll study difference between business employment and profession in our previous video we discussed classification of human activities as economic and non economic activities now we'll proceed with types of economic activities economic activities classified into three categories the various type of economic activities carried out by the people to earn their livelihood can be divided into business employment and profession let's take some examples of economic activities farmer doing farming for earning money doctor treating their patients or consulting their patients for money an accountant doing audit or making account of a company for earning money a shopkeeper selling goods for money teacher teaching at your school for salary again it's for earning money chef who is cooking food at restaurant again it's for earning money all these are considered as an economic activity because all activity performed by different people to earn their livelihood or we can say that to earn money the first classification of economic activity is business business refer to any occupation in which people regularly engaged in production or purchase of goods for sale or maybe they purchase goods for exchange of goods or supply or services to satisfy the need of other people with a view to earning profits further business divided in two segments first is industry and second one is commerce let's take an example a farmer doing farming and producing goods maybe a rice or a vegetable for selling them in a market to earn profit is considered as in business a shopkeeper procure goods for selling them at a profit again it's considered as a economic activity second classification of economic activity is employment we often come across people in our daily life who perform different types of work for other in order to earn salary or wages however the term wages is generally associated with a lower level of jobs the people working in an organization are known as employees and who offer them the job is considered as employer employment refer to a occupation in which people work for other and get remunerated in return for example mr vijay work as an account manager in a school for a fixed salary whereas teacher teaching at a school again for a fixed salary ramu work as in construction worker to earn wages all these examples are of employment in which they are in a contract with their employer 
for their work in which they get a fixed remuneration for their work the third classification of economic activity is profession we not only use the term profession in our communication but also sometime interact with different professionals like doctor lawyer chartered accountant or an architect profession is an economic activity which requires specialized knowledge and skills it involves the rendering of personal service of specialized nature like doctor render their services to their patients lawyer render consultancy to their clients also there is an exist of professional associations like to become a doctor you need to be a member of medical council of india for being a lawyer you need to be a member of bar council of india and for being a chartered accountant you need to be a member of institute of chartered accountants of india now further we proceed with difference between business employment and profession first of all we take basis is mode of establishment the difference between business profession and employment on the basis of mode of establishment is business is established on the decision of entrepreneur which may be followed by other legal formalities but if required then only in case of profession must have the membership of professional body or a certificate of practice like for being a doctor they need a professional association with medical council of india in case of employment to start an employment a person must have a letter of appointment or a service agreement with his employer the second difference is on the basis of nature of work in case of business basically the nature of work is providing goods and services to the society in case of profession the nature of work is rendering personalized services of expert nature and in case of employment the job nature is performing work as per the job contract the next basis of difference is qualification in case of business there is no such minimum qualification is required anyone can start a business without having any qualifications in case of profession it need a special training or special knowledge in a particular field which is must required in case of employment the qualification and the training is prescribed by the employer and is must needed for their jobs next basis of difference is a reward or return in case of business the reward is termed as profits profit earned is the reward for business man in case of profession the reward is professional fees like doctor charge fee from their patients lawyer charge fees from their clients in case of employment the return or reward which employees get from their employer is salary or wages the next difference is on the basis of capital investment 
before starting a business the businessman need a capital the capital investment is an essential part of business and it's depend on the scale of business if a businessman engaged in a large scale business he needs large capital and if the business is of small scale then he need a small capital in case of profession it also need capital but comparative to business the capital requirement is limited for the establishment in case of employment there is no need of capital investment from employee next difference is on the basis of risk in a business there is a present of higher risk as the profit are uncertain and irregular in case of profession there is some risk involved as fee is generally regular and certain in case of employment there is no risk as fixed and regular pay in form of salary is received by employee from their employer next difference is on the basis of transfer of interest in case of business the transfer of interest is possible with some formalities like business run by father can be transferred to his son but in case of profession it is not possible to transfer the interest as a doctor can't transfer his doctor certificate to his son without association of medical council of india for being a doctor he must need to be a member of medical council of india same way in case of employment it's not possible to transfer interest like an employer doesn't transfer their interest to other member the last basis of difference as code of conduct code of conduct means rules and regulations which is followed by business profession and employment for their activities in case of business there is no such prescribed code of conducts but they have to fo- follow certain ethics in case of profession it is compulsory to follow the professional codes of conduct as prescribed by their related professional bodies like professional codes and conduct prescribed by medical council of india is to be followed by a doctor rules or codes prescribed by bar council of india is need to be followed by lawyer in case of employment the employer prescribed the norms and the rules and regulations of behavior which is to be followed by employees after this topic it's time for thinking let's take in case study three friends arun tarun and varun are engaged in a different types of activities to earn their livelihood Arun described his occupation by saying that transfer of interest is not possible in case of my occupation and at the same time it does not require any capital investment Tarun remarks in my occupation also transfer of interest is not possible but one need to possess high degree of specialized knowledge in a particular field whereas varun share in his occupation transfer of interest is possible but with some formalities and also capital investment is essential 
in the context of this case identify the different types of economic activities being described in the above paragraph by Arun, Tarun and Varun. You will get the answer in the next video. Topics to be covered in next video are Classification of business activities Concept of industry Types of industries Commerce Trade and auxiliary to trades.